Hey there! In this video, I will cover how to learn the tooth whistle and five possible declinations. Straight to the point, the tooth whistle is an inward sound using the lungs, but also the tongue and the teeth. To do the sound, you need to curve your tongue in U shape like this and place it right between the bottom lip and the front teeth. By holding this position, take an inward breath and make the air pass right in the middle. Yeah, and you have to find the sweet spot. Because your very first tries might sound like this. It might just not work. <laughs> So you notice that my mouth has a specific shape. It looks like a square or something like this. And this position will come naturally when you put your tongue in between your bottom lip and your front teeth. So right now to do the sound, I use my lungs with an inward breath, but you can trigger the sound to make it more punchy by triggering it with the D sound, the D letter. So it makes kind of a plug. All the steps in short, you have to put your tongue in new shape and place it in between the bottom lip and the teeth and then hold this position and take a breath inwards. And you can trigger it with the D letter to make it more punchy. If you want to learn this sound, you need more information because that is just the way of doing it. But I want to talk about the process of learning it. The first thing is that you probably need many, 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 many tries before getting it. I've been working a lot in many, many different positions before unlocking it. And it took me more than a year in total. So expect taking your time and don't give up after a few months. For my story, I thought it was impossible for me to get this sound because of my gap in the teeth. But I kept trying a lot. I was trying anywhere I went, in the car, in the toilets, in the street. I was always like this. And one day I was filling up my car and it came out and I was so happy and since then I never lost it. I just kept doing it every day and here is now. I usually say that sound mastery is not about having or not having. It's not one or zero. Therefore, I have to admit that it's the case for some sounds. I really switch from not having it to having it. And it was the case also for some other sounds of mine, like the fart bass. I got it from 1 to 0 and same for the speed snare. But my first speed snare was this one, which doesn't sound as good. And perhaps you've experienced the same situation. There was a sound that you didn't have, someone explained it to you and you got it instantly. Or maybe after some time, but you really switched from not having it to having it. However, not everyone has the same experience and it can be more progressive to you. It really depends on the sounds and on the person. For example, my relic whistle didn't pass from 0 to 1. It's still pretty bad. Most of the time the whistle doesn't come out, but I have it sometimes. Most of the time the whistle is not 100% and it is a pretty weak sound for me. And same that happened for my cricket whistle, my vibration bass, and my lip oscillation sounds. These are sounds that took me several months to understand the mechanism. So it might be your case as well for the tooth whistle. All of this is another topic that I wanted to cover to say it's okay, you can take your time. It's not because you can't. The sounds take time to understand, to get and to master. And you can do anything you set your mind to. My teeth gap was a limiting belief that I overpassed. And probably you have 
limiting beliefs too. Maybe you are telling to yourself that you are not able to learn a certain sound because your body has something special that makes the sound impossible to do. Try to get rid of this kind of mindset because most of the time it is not the case. Let's dig into the possible declinations of the tooth whistle. We have the tooth whistle scratching. When I first got the tooth whistle, I couldn't scratch with it because I just had this sound. And when I was trying to scratch with it, nothing came out. So this technique requires additional training. And speaking of training session, you can download my free beatbox training kit in description in which I cover topics like training sessions and mindset in my beatbox ebooks. To scratch with it, you need to say tifuitu, tifuitu, tifuitu. In words, tifuitu, tifuitu, tifuitu. By holding the position. You can also try to change the pitch while scratching. Coming next, the tooth whistle pluck. It is a very short sound that I recently found in one of Collapse short videos. I immediately tried the technique and it worked for me. That sound is made all from the tongue muscle. The lungs are not involved in this sound. By comparison, the trigger ring system is a bit like the hollow dry kick or the trunk bow sound. You can still imagine the letter D to trigger it. We can also compare the triggering system with an inward hi-hat. Just say T inwards actually. Next, we have the vocalized tooth whistle. This is probably my favorite declination since I use it in one of my tracks. I also use it a lot in freestyle. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure to subscribe not to miss the later videos. So just before going to the technique, I want to shout out Ziad Sweden because he's the one that I've taken the technique from. This technique involves an inward voice that you add over the tooth whistle. It can take some time before getting it properly, but here's another technique to make it resonate. This technique is about using the nose as a resonator. So instead of saying tu, 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 or from the throat and the mouth, I would rather send it a little bit in the nose. Like if I was saying dun, 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 dun. And the more you have the N letter, the more it will resonate in the nose. So without the nose, in the nose, and you can rather make it long or short. Next technique, the inward bass tooth whistle. I don't master this technique, but I know Tyler the Beard does. I'm not an inward bass master, as you can hear, but I wanted to cover this technique just to let you know that it exists. And this technique is just about layering the inward bass over the tooth whistle. Pretty obvious, you're right, but I can't say more than this, otherwise it has to be an inward bass tutorial. And last but not least, the tooth whistle hi-hat technique. Big shout out to Buki Blanco for this creative technique that he does since 2020. <laughs> this technique consists of combining the top notch hi hat technique that I covered in two of my videos. It can take some time to get it, but work it slow. and then speed it up. I hope this tutorial has helped you. Thank you for watching and see you for the next video.